हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक अगेन टू माय चैनल कोड विथ एड गन आई एम अहमद गगन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्लोन द थर्ड स्क्रीन ऑफ आवर क्लोनिंग द यू आई डिज़ाइन सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल क्लोन दिस स्क्रीन राइट ओवर हियर इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोस वी क्लोन दिस स्क्रीन एंड दिस स्क्रीन इफ यू हैवन वॉच द वीडियोज आई विल गिव द लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन मेक श्योर टू वॉच द अमाउंट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद दिस स्क्रीन so first of all let's see what are the parts of the screen and then we will start with making the screen so let's start. so first of all we can see that uh, there is there are two circles right here uh, which were in the last screens too but uh, there is a problem in it right now i will show it later uh, and also there is a text create account and the uh, text field is the same as the this field that we created in the last screen so our most of the work is like creating a new view and just renaming the uh, the parameters for the fields and also it's simple than this one so it will be quick and uh, according to what i know is that this screen is easier than the last two that we created so without wasting any time let's start with coding the screen so first of all we will start with the third screen so in this we have the two circles which we will code in the beginning as usual but there is a problem in this two circles that if we click on them and if we click on the color we can see that uh, they have a uh, opacity of 21% which is not like this two right here these have the opacity of 100% so we can just use the rgb colors and the default opacity is 100% in swift ui but what's wrong here is that we can change the opacity but at the point at which they will meet uh, will be highlighted as a different color like we have created two circles one circle is like this and the other is uh, the other will overlap it from right over here and it will create an effect that two circles are uh, merging or overlapping so it will not look as it is right here so to be with uh, what we have to design right here Uh, let's just uh, download this image and use this so to download the image i forgot to show in the first part to download the assets you just need to click on that particular asset now you have to come down to the export option and click on uh, give it a suffix and click on export union and it will export the png or whatever format you choose for you so now after downloading it the second thing you need to do is to come in export and inside export come to assets and create a new asset which will be done by default if you drag and drop that image so if you come here and drag and drop it right here it will create a new asset and you can name this asset whatever you want for in, in this case we will name it page 3 image 1 so here we have made it make sure to save this and now let's come and create a new view which is our third view so let's create a new file and make it a swift ui file and name it third view and create so now after we are inside the third view the another thing we need to do is to separate the cut 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 after we are in the third view the another thing we need to do is to create the circle view as usual as we did in the second screen in the beginning so in this case third uh, the image or the circle view will only be an image so let's create a new variable which which will be circle view and this will be an image the image will be the name of the image that we just added so page 3 and image 1 here we go and uh, instead of this text now we want to show the circle view as simple as that so here you can see that we have got the same circle view as uh, inside here now the next thing we need to do is to separate the text field so to separate the text field we we will need to come in the second view as we added a text field in the or added two text fields in the second view now we will just come here and copy the text field and also the secure field with the dividers because we will need them so we will copy uh, from text field 
to dot shadow or the last uh, styling of the secure field let's copy this and create a new view that is or a new file which is which will be a swift ui file and the name will be text field view now let's create the text field view and paste everything right here now everything is perfect but the, we don't have the variable names right here so we will come on the top of the about the body and create our first state variable which will be text input which will be for the text field so first variable will be text input and it will be a string st string and it will be empty by default the another will be field field placeholder and it will also be a string and it will be by default username which will be our placeholder text and the third will be what is secure equals to or we will not give it a default value instead we will set it to a bool so what we do here what we did here is that we created variables to specify what type of field we want now is secure is to check that if it is a secure field or a normal field if it will be true then it will be a secure field and else it will be a normal field so now to add the logic and also I I think we will need to rep reposition it so we will also create pause uh, pause x and uh, add it as a cg float cg float and uh, pause y which will also be a cg float now we will come right here and instead of using username as our text we will use text input so dollar sign text input and same right here dollar sign text input now i think you should just add it without a default value or it's a stay variable so just add a default value if it was no, it it if it wasn't a state variable so you should try to just not add this default value so if you add the default value it will not show in the help box which appears when you type so let's come right here again and uh, let's remove username default value from here now let's come here again and in our text field we added text input and here we added text input now before doing anything else we will just add this all variables in here so the first variable will be the text input which will take as a string so the text input will be text input and, and everything else so text input will be a normal empty string then the placeholder will also be a empty string by default and the is secure full will be false by default position x will be 0 by default and position y will be 0 by default so this is uh, these are all the default values that will be applied now we will come again right here now the another thing we need to check is if we are if the is secure is false then we want to show this field we will just cut this from here else and then let's remove this height right here and else we will show the secure field we'll just cut it and put it right here if we are if the if secure is false we will show the text normal text field and if it is true we will show the secure field so okay the another thing we need to do is to instead of username we need to add field placeholder instead so field placeholder and here field 
please hold it now i think this should work it should appear right here and uh, let's try adding uh, some okay i think uh, i am okay i'm not missing something so let's try adding this into the second view instead of adding this all stuff um where we were okay instead of adding this all stuff we will just cut this and add a text field view and we will add all the values the placeholder text will be a string which will be user name the is secure will be false because it's username position x will be zero and position y will be zero we will position them afterwards so here we go we have the username so it works as it worked before and another we will just remove the secure field also and add a okay text field view another text field view and inside this we will add all the values and inside the field placeholder it will be password and uh, is secure will be true in this case the position will be zero again now i think yes it works so here we go this is password and this is normal username now after we separated the text field view the another thing that we need to do is to just uh, clone the third view which will be very easy now because we have the circle views we have separated the text field view so it will be very simple and we also have the button right here and uh, we the only new thing is the uh, heading here which is very simple to create so follow up to complete the screen now let's co start coding the third view so inside the third view we will add some text fields and for the text fields we need the uh, state variables so add the state variables here state variable and it will be email input and uh, the string will be a default string and also by email input because there are three fields right here email username and password so we will need to in the first field we need the email input in the second screen we need the new username input and in the third field new password input so we will create this three variables for three inputs so the another will be a state variable new username input and it will be a string and it will be defaulted as empty and another new which will be at state variable new password input and it will also be a string and it will also be defaulted as empty now after we did this as usual we will create a v stack and uh, also a z stack inside the v stack so z stack and inside the z stack we will add the circle view it will not uh, add any changes instead we added it inside z stack so we can add, add more contact upon it and also inside the zsec we will create another vstack to make our main content so vstack and we will create a new text here uh, now inside the text we will have create create account now here we have create an account in two different lines so we will not create two different text for this instead we will add right here instead we will add slash backslash or n backslash n to just separate the line and here there is a smiley face and so let's create that is there any space okay okay this looks perfect now let's add the styling to the font so the font will be a custom font and inside the custom font uh, the name will be inter bold and the size will be 32 so it will look as same as this yes it looks as same as this so we will now add a spacer 
after the text and uh, okay spacer and inside the facer we will add a frame and inside the frame the height will be 70 to separate everything and after we gave the height we want the text field view text field view with all the values so the first placeholder will be enter email id so come into this and enter email id is secure is false for email position x will be zero and position y will be zero let's see how it works okay the offset is a little different so let's see what's wrong with the offset right here so let's okay we i think we forgot to assign the position x and position y so let's try assigning them so here we come and uh, let's go down and i think it will be after the in the text field there is offset okay here is offset and in the offset we will need to propose x and pause y and same here pause x and pause y okay done and now again we need to come in the second view and now it, if we add 0 it will be misplaced so 70 and uh, minus 18 as we did there and 70 and minus 18 and remove this okay now it looks perfect now again let's come to the text field view uh, which is uh, in our third view so inside this in the position x we will add 23 and in the position y position y will be the same so minus 18 so it will be perfectly aligned because in the second view the username and password placeholders were not perfectly aligned with this line but in the third screen the enter email id and the all the placeholders are perfectly aligned with this line so i added position x and position y as a, a different values so now we have the enter email id we will add uh, some space between them so, so the space will, will be 50 so now let's add a spacer and we will copy this and add it for uh, the other two text fields so the height will be 50 right here and we will copy this from here till here paste the second and paste the third and remove the third spacer okay okay remove the third spacer and we have three text in text fields now in the second text field the text is create username so the second text field is right here create and uh, here it will be you user name and here create and uh, here password and then and also in the create password the is secure will be true okay so let's try entering the email id so random at uh, random dot random and it works username will be random and password will be random 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 okay it works now let's create this sign up button this is very simple because we have created the same type of sign up button in our second screen so or and also in the first screen so let's copy that and paste that here so let's come here where is the button and here from here till here copy the button and in the third view add some space or spacer and uh, frame height will be greater something like double than this so 120 will work 
uh, why I added this because the space between the text field, the last text field, and the sign up button is greater than the space between the text fields. So I uh, so I added the height to something like in a bigger number. So now let's paste the button right here, and we have the button. Now just we want to change the text. So the text will be sign up and uh, here also the text will change to sign up else everything will be same and here the width will be also the width also will be the same height will be same and everything else will be same so i think we are done or not yet because the create account is still centered so to change its position we will just come here we will come to the text we will say dot frame and here the max width will be dot infinity or not infinity because we don't want a hundred percent width so we will give it a random value and we will align the we will align the text to the dot leading so it will align to leading and if you change the max width value to something like 200 it will come to the center again and if you change it to 300 it will move according to what you change the max width to so the best number what we have the currently to align it perfectly with these things is uh, 350 so yeah we are done with the third screen so this was the last part of the three screens and also let's just complete the navigating or nav so after we have the third screen coded the navigating is pretty simple as we have a navigation view in our first view so it's in the root of the project so the navigation view is, is in the root of the project so in the further views we don't need a navigation view so we can directly add a navigation link so in the last video we created this plain text which is or create a new account so in this we will just click on it and uh, right click on it and show code, uh, code actions now we will embed this inside a navigation link and in the navigation link we want a destination and we don't want a label because we added our text so let's add a destination which will be third view so that's it and we have the navigation up and running now we will just okay everything's fine so we will just come to the content view and test everything from the start so here we go let's wait for it to load Okay, there was an error. Let's see what's the error. So, cannot preview in this file. The operation was cancelled. So, what is the error? Let's check. Is this here? No. Is this here? No. So, what's the error here? Okay, no error. There was a glitch, I think. So, let's click on join now. Let's uh, try to enter some username uh, and password, some random password, and inbox as before. And uh, we can't we don't do anything when we click on login as we don't have the main app we, when we create on create a new account we are redirected to the third page and everything works perfectly let's try to enter a random email m at random.com let's try to create a new username and let's okay no problem so let's try to add a random password and if we click on sign in we should redact to our app. So that's it for this series. In the next series I will try to clone something else in Flutter on in Swift UI. If you like my content or this video series or this video make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video for more content. Thanks for watching.